Okay, so this is a new soap for me. I just created it. I don't even think I can fit the whole thing in there. It's so huge. It's about two feet long, one of my larger molds. And I'm gonna have to cut this in half first because it's just too difficult to, uh, it's just way too large to try and cut it. And just do this really quickly. It smells amazing. Not something that I would typically go for, but it is a combination of coconut, chocolate, and almond. And I used some shredded coconut soap that I had previously made on top to kind of mimic the look of toasted coconut. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Now I'm going to be hungry. So I really don't need, really don't need that. Okay. I'm going to see. Oh my God, this, I'm telling you, this smells so good. It literally smells so edible. And is making me hungry. It's making me incredibly <laughs> crazy. Chocolate, and I'm not a big chocolate eaty, eater. I'm a gummy bear, sour patch kid type of person. Twizzlers, Australian licorice, that sort of thing. Like that. Now, I've never made this before and so I know that the chocolate is going to probably get darker. This is chocolate in here and I used real cocoa as well and this is chocolate on top. So I know that's probably going to get darker. What I don't know is if the coconut which is the bottom off white parts if that is going to get darker because I've never worked with that particular coconut oil fragrance before. I'm having a hard time seeing what you're seeing. Um, I tried a different one from one of my favorite suppliers. He got in a new coconut and sent me a sample and it smelled so great that I decided to uh, order a bit of it and give it a go and I did a batch of just the plain coconut but then as good as it was I wanted something just a little bit different I've had a lot of customers at the market ask me to do some more dessert type scents, which I normally is not necessarily my strongest point. So this was one that I came up with and it looks like a bit of caramel in there too. It looks like a giant chocolate candy bar, which is exactly what I was going for. So I'm happy that it worked out that way. Um, I think I'm going to have quite a few of these. Probably, well, this mold is about I use this mold over here. I don't know if you guys can see it too clearly. I make all of my own molds. I'm obsessed with making wood molds. It's so crazy. My great grandmother used to do that. She would make molds out of almost anything. And so whenever I go to Home Depot, which is on a regular basis, like 
every other day. I always go to the clearance bin to see if they have any really nice cuts of wood. And if they do, I, I, I can't help it. I have to buy it and make a mold. Actually, I built all of my shelves that I had in my old shop. I made all of them myself. I'm not a professional carpenter, but I do like working with wood. And with my molds, they can be so pricey to buy and so cheap to make. This mold, it's real, I got some really nice pine. I'll show it more to you guys at another time, I guess. But this is, this makes a bar that's three and a half inches across and two and a half in height. And I made this mold and it's 22 inches long. It's 22 or 24 inches long. Let me see real quick. Yeah, actually, it's 22, it's 24, I was right, it's 24 inches long, and so this mold cost me exactly $1.10 to make, I kid you not. The wood was on clearance, it had been cut, not to this size, but it had been cut, and so I got, uh, I got, uh, it was two pieces and I got both pieces for each piece was 51 cents so actually the was and then I add in the cost of the nails even though I buy I keep a box of uh, drywall nails which I prefer because they penetrate the wood better and I don't have as much splitting but I make all of my molds including my multi-chamber molds because it's so easy to do and so inexpensive All right. Now, I have to use a cutting box because I'm not as good as some of the other gals that I've seen. Like Karen over at Eden Secret and the young lady at Future Prim. Amazing cutters. They just cut freehand. It's absolutely fascinating to me that they could do that. That's one thing that I was never good at doing. And so my great grandmother had given me a box cutter similar to this, which is why I ended up getting this when I saw it because it brought back so many memories. But um, I'm not, I don't think, I don't know. I'm scared to try it. I should probably try it. Break outside my comfort zone and try something different actually let me move this over and start over here start a new row that row is getting kind of kind of long Oops, sorry move the camera a bit so sorry can you tell I'm new at this I'm so new at this I'm so new at making videos and and YouTube and you know all of this is very new to me so please forgive me and be patient with me as I learn how to do this better so let me see I'm gonna see about trying to do a freehand cut not bad hey did pretty good actually not bad at all okay you guys I'm totally not kidding you this smells so incredible it's ridiculous I really could go for an almond joy right now which is you know the candy bar almond joy almonds coconut chocolate that is exactly what this smells like oh so yummy Look at that. I'm cutting without the box. Oh my gosh. And they actually look good. Well, kind of. <laughs> I don't want to give myself too many props. 
next thing you know I'll be making cutting triangles or something I love how this looks like caramel inside love that and I really like the effect of the shreds of coconut on top there goes some of my coconut as a matter of fact I think it makes it look so pretty. Let's see. Should I leave this one big honking bar or do I dare try and smooth it out? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Not too bad. <laughs> Not too good either. It's a little bit bigger at the bottom, so I'm gonna have to smooth that out. Alrighty then. So there we have it. Ugh. This smells so good. Okay. I'm hungry now. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yeah, I cut these kind of on the bigger size side. I'm not really sure how much these are going to weigh. I think they're going to weigh a lot because... I cut them an inch and a quarter. Probably should do one and one eighth, and maybe should have done some one inch. I don't know. It's such a yummy bar. I just think of a big old candy bar, so I think I just went with went with that. So there you have it. This one is going to be called Joy, and again, it's a combination of coconut chocolate and almond and it's also made with real cocoa powder dark chocolate powder mixed in and coconut milk so it's gonna have a really creamy lather I love soaps with coconut milk so I'm going to get one of my box trays actually I think I can put it in with the other one I cut up to save some space then again no I can't it's not big enough so let me go get another tray okay so got my box lined with wax paper and I'm gonna put my bars in here so that they can cure they're a really nice texture right now love that look at the shreds of coconut on top which is actually shreds of one of my co of the other coconut soaps it's one of my transparent formula soaps quote unquote glycerin soaps I don't use pre-made glycerin melt and pour bases even my glycerin soaps my transparent soaps I make them from scratch um, I got into making transparent soaps about 20 years ago when um, I became obsessed I, uh, with pears, the original pear soap, which is I think is the original transparent soap ever made, the first one ever made. And so I became fascinated and determined to perfect my own version of it, which I think I have. My bars come out really hard and long lasting. One thing I think I need to build is a new, another cutter. It's so funny. I prefer sometimes, well, it depends. For something like this, I'm having so much fun with it. I am enjoying cutting by hand. But, and to be honest with you, I didn't feel like pulling out my uh, big giant cutter. And setting it up and checking the wires and all of that good stuff because I believe I need to change a couple of wires on there and I just didn't feel like doing that today so another look at those before they go into the curing room 
I see the coconut is like a light brown here so maybe that's as dark as it's gonna get I'm hoping I didn't want to use any um, color stabilizer in it because I'm not really sure what's in that stuff and so I prefer to not use it although I'm sure there's nothing you know wrong with it well, a lot of people do use it candy bar for you and then these giveaway pieces go in there okay so that was joy thanks for watching bye